In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make 3D logos. As you can see, we're on GoMediaZine.com. As you can, this logo up here has this really cool effect, and it really catches the eye. Although it's 2D, and it look, and it has this vector look. And we're going to try to do this in Flash. Also, we're going to be using Electric Rain. This is the maker of the 3D Swift version 5. This is the software we're going to be using and there is a free trial for Macs and PCs. As you can see you just have to go up to downloads, free trials and you'll get there. Also from 1001freefonts.com I'm using the Technique font. I think this is a great looking font for what I and we are doing. So let's get straight to it. Let's start. Now that we're in Flash, we can make the logo, picture, or the text that we're going to use. And today we're going to use text. We'll go to our text tool here, and we will make a text. And I'm going to use the letters O, E, F on Enter Flash and for the color which is important if we're going to try to emulate that logo or we're going to go with a white now you can see that this background is white and that's not really helping us see what we're doing but we don't have to worry about that because we're going to export this as a vector how are we going to do that first we're going to break it with control or command B and now you can see that it has become a vector now that it's a vector, we can export this as a vector. We'll go to File, Export, Export Image, and it gives you all types of formats you can save as. We're going to use the EPS format. I'm going to save this as 3D Logo. 3D logos and save it. Now that I've saved it, I'm ready to take it into Swift 3D version 5. Over in Swift 3D version 5, what you have to do to get that logo into it is go to File, Import, and find your logo. And as you can see, it pops up right on the screen and it has three dimensions right from the bat but this not this is not exactly what we want we want the edges to have this black fill and the face to have a white fill the first order of business is we have to select it by just clicking on it and going to arrange and hitting combined what you just did was combined it uh, from the start it was actually five different pieces if you count each individual separate vector and this would be hell to keep on editing each and every vector so now that they're combined they all act as one and the materials all act as one so we'll click on it select it up here inside the the properties we're gonna go to materials and for the face we're gonna select face and you can see this shiny white that's not a, that's not what we want we're gonna click down here on materials and we're gonna go to the flat and we're gonna select this white flat right here and you can see it kinda brightens it up and we're gonna go down to the edges as you can see it's that shiny white and on the edges we wanna pull here this black and bring it there now this is really coming to, it's kind of looking exactly what, like what we want, but it's not the right look. It's not the right angle. So we'll go over here down to this rotation palette and we'll select a horizontal lock and this will allow us to move it on the Y axis. And that gives it more of that in your face look. And we want to also see some of the bottom of this logo so we'll click on the vertical lock and rotate it on its x-axis and this is exactly the look 
we're looking for. It's kind of in. It's kind of too close to the edges. I don't think that's a good look. So you're gonna hold Alt on your keyboard and the right mouse button, and you're just gonna scroll back. And this, this seems really good. It's right in the center. It's exactly what we want. We're gonna go here to Preview and Export Editor. We have to set up a few things. In a general, we're going to select uh, the target file type. We're going to select a Flash Player SWF. This is the file that works best with Flash because Flash, hey, it invented this. Um, for the automatic detail, we, we want to take this off automatic and we want to put it all the way up high. Um, and we want to go to the fill now and we want to select cartoon single color fill this is what we want and this is the effect we will get generate selected frame and here we are we have exactly what we want this is a great looking emulation of the go media zine now we go to export selected frame and I'm gonna call it logo logo uh, on enter frame flash we go it will save it now that it's an SWF we can manipulate it in flash as a regular vector file you can still see this white logo that we put in we don't need this anymore you can just delete it a file import import to stage and we'll import the new SWF we just created now we have it on the stage as you can see it's pretty close to what we want but unfortunately our white turned gray and that's okay we'll just select it because this is, is grouped we want to break it apart by hitting control or command B and we want to select each and every single one of these elements in color it white. So we'll hold the shift and we'll click on each and every gray part. And we'll go over to here to the fill color and color it white. And there is our problem solved. We'll select it again, control G to group it back to what it was. Now we want to give that outline that we saw on the Go Media Zine. We'll copy this we will paste in place which leaves a copy of it under or rather on top of the logo that we just made and with it selected still we want to hit control B to break it now it's broken apart and it's a vector and it's, everything is happening behind the logo we just created now we will go to find a color that suits us best I'm gonna go for this yellow orange type color and the color still selected we're gonna hold shift and bring it down some why are we bringing it down so we know it exists and also we want to fill in these holes so we're gonna to go to K for the bucket tool and fill in those colors I'm gonna select it bring it up back with shift in the direction keys uh, with it selected we're gonna to go to modify shape expand fill and we're gonna expand the fill by let's say five five seems good and make sure expand is selected now we have exactly what we have in the go media zine logo properties we can change it to that gray looking background and that's pretty much exactly how you do it uh, this is Worf thanks for watching on enter flash if you like these tutorials subscribe to my channel and also visit my website on enterflash.blogspot.com. All the information should accompany this video. Thank you so much for watching.